Hello guys, hello YouTube, I guess I should say guys, gals, everybody on YouTube. It is I, your humble host, the Nerdy Librarian. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. I will be your tour guide for this installment as always. Now, you might notice I have a few more saves and here's the problem. Here's the thing, here's the thing. Uh, my game actually crashed, right? So, because of that, we're picking this recording back up before the crash, right? Because I lost, I lost the, the recording file. For anybody who is a YouTuber just on a video platform at all, and you know the feeling, it, it doesn't feel great. So, we've had our interaction with Benny. I, I'm sorry we lost that. Um, so yeah, we need to search Benny's... Sweet. Hey, hey, fellow. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Uh, sure. Here you go. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, uh, gotta sneeze, gotta sneeze. Only word of advice. If you <coughs> to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your Tops experience the Tops? Uh, maybe don't call it the tops. Goodbye. Have a good time, baby. Okay. So, first thing I want to check here. Caps, 7,000 some, which means we have to clean out this casino again. Benny ran off, which is a shame. So, what I did before is... Oh, I, right, I need to purchase chips. I need to look like I belong here at this place, right? And then... So, that way I have a good reason to head up there. Oh, wait. Oh, it, the counter's this way. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Imagine losing two and a half hours of recording. Welcome to the tops. How can I help you? Uh, I'd like to exchange NCR, uh, Legion money for chips. Let's do a hundred, please. All right. Sorry if I'm rushing through things a little bit. Trying to get back to where it left off. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the finest entertainment experience in New Vegas. My name is Tommy Torini, and how can I make your night? Have you seen Benny? Dig it, baby. He beat feet to his sweet. You scare the big boss man or something? Oh, uh, tell me about this theater, why don't you? Well, it was my idea. Well, me and the rest of the Rad Pack boys. We took it to Benny, and he thought it was a good idea. A few years later, here we are. The best show in New Vegas. Uh, what do you think about Benny? Benny? Uh, he's an alright cat, you dig? He don't got much musical talent, but he knows how to run a business. When he's around, anyways. Yeah, I hear you. Any idea where he goes when he disappears like that? Well, now, you didn't hear this from Tommy. But Benny likes to go off on a bender now and then. Usually he's only gone a couple of days, but this last time, nobody saw him for almost a month. Ask me, I think he's got a dame from Gamora, holed up in a suite, because nobody ever saw him leave it. Uh, what do you do here, by the way? Well, apart from serving as a talent manager, show schedule, and all-around man in charge of this fine theater, I happen to be its headline act. Every night from 8 till midnight, come on by to see the Rad Pack Review live. Only right here at the Aces Theater. Really? What kind of entertainment do you have? Well, acts are a bit thin on the ground right now. But every night from 8 to midnight, we got the Rad Pack Review. Songs, dancing, jokes. We got it all. Well, maybe I could find you f help you find more acts for your show. Sure, baby, sure. Tommy's always looking for new talent to bring to the Aces. Tell you what. You see any good acts while you're out wandering? Give them my card. If they work out, I'll give you a 3% cut of the door. Just swing back by as you recruit folks. I'll get you your bread. Uh, sure, I'll keep an eye out. Ring a ding, my card. What other entertainment is there on the strip? Now, why would you want to go breaking Tommy's heart asking a question like that? Here I run the finest entertainment venue in all New Vegas, and you're asking me, 
What else is there? Nothing close to what we got here at the tops, that's for sure. Hey, sorry about the wait, guys. Uh, my wife needed me for something. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean anything by it. But, you know, last time I recorded this, I was laughing my head off on this. And I really... I really should do that anyway, but here's the... I mean... The guy's... The guy's like... You're, it just feels so bad you're asking me about other entertainment on the strip when I just told you what the best entertainment is. Yeah, the joke's not as funny a second time around. I know what you mean, guys. It's cool, baby. Tommy's a forgiving fella. Goodbye. Take it easy, baby. All right. Uh, yeah. So we need to get into Benny's suite. But first, first of all, like I did last time, before everything kind of broke, I'm gonna clean this place out. Blackjack right off the bat. Boy, they're not going to make it easy, are they? What the heck? Okay. That's that's fine. That's fine. Boom. Okay. 19. Stay there. <sighs> 19. I got greedy. I lost it from earlier, guys. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, there we go. 21. That's... It's a slow start. It's a slow start, guys. My goodness. Where... I have a 10 luck stat. What happened? There we go. Hit it. 21. I want to speed this up a little bit. Which I don't advise, by the way. I really don't. It's not typically a good strategy. But we'll make it work. Also, I think I'm noticing a bit of a frame rate issue. It wasn't having this earlier, and I don't know why. Not, we'll handle it. We'll we'll deal with it, right? We're here for the long haul. This, we're here for content, right? You know what a content move is? Upping that to fifty and going. This is a bad idea, but here we go anyway. Seventeen. There we go. Make it twenty-one. 20. Should be alright on that one. Okay, 20. We'll stay there. Perfect. Yeah, I really don't advise the speed up strategy on this. And this is why. Because this could really blow up in my face. Okay. Perfect. Blackjack. 150 chips right off the rip. Which means I'm probably going to lose this hand. Never mind. We got a 21. Okay. I need to wait for one that I lose. Right? 
said, I don't want to increase my... I don't want to increase the bet until I have one that I just... on. If that makes sense. Okay, that was a break-even. 20... Okay, we lost on one. Let's do just one more, and then we'll raise it again. 19, I'll stay there. Okay. Okay, put it to 20, that's fine. Can work with that. Nice, the blackjack right there. Night. Oh, guys, this is looking real rough for trying to clean this casino out. Just gonna say it right now. A real rough start to this one. But we're we're coming back on it. We can do it. So, I have to I have to mention something. You know, while we're sitting here playing blackjack, you know, I had there was something kind of funny that happened earlier that my wife wasn't as amused by. But so I had to go to the bathroom. We we were at a family function. You know, like a big family get together or something, right? And apparently hey, there's the hot Looks like you've hit a lucky streak there. You must be thirsty by now. Here, have a drink on the house and keep on playing. Thank you kindly. Which I'm not going to drink that. But anyway, back to the story. The family get together, set this nice little house, that sort of thing. Well, they're big Prince fans. Like fans of Prince's music and that sort of thing. And on the wall, in the bathroom, they have hung the Prince and the Revolution album cover poster. And they, they have it centered right over the toilet. So I go in there and, you know, go into the bathroom. And I just look up and Prince is there sitting on his motorcycle. You know, just making, just looks like he's making eye contact. And I'm like, this is really awkward. You know, this is yikes. Like, I, I don't know what to do about that. You know, when somebody puts something in their bathroom that you m make eye contact with, and you're like, I don't like being watched while I'm going to the bathroom. Painting. You know? It, it... Oh, boy. It's just... But, you know, Prince in the Revolution, great album. Great, fantastic music. But, you know, some people will do that. They'll put... You know, pictures, paintings, posters, whatever, up in their bathroom as something to look at while you're in there, right? And, it, and it's nice. It's nice to have a place decorated. Decoration is very nice. I just... Tell me if... Guys, tell me if you've ever had an experience like that. I, I don't know how to feel when there's something... You know, when there's something in the bathroom that... You know, is making eye con Looks like it's making eye contact with you or something. And I don't know, maybe I'm just weird. Probably. I'm a little weird. Just, I, I, I just have a personal preference on decor. That's all. I, I don't want something in there that can make eye contact with me. <sighs> but, yeah, it's just me. Uh, another recent story that happened. So, my wife and I, we're, we're like, well, what do we want for dinner? Let's let's make something, right? And so we ended up having pasta. And recently, we've been eating low carb red lentil pasta. Well, we we had to use up some you know actual some actual pasta, right? You know, with, with carbs and all of that. Starch. 
I forgot how much pasta there is in a box these days. Like, it's been that long since we've had regular pasta. So I dump these two boxes of pasta into what I think is going to be a decent... Baby, Lady Luck must be smiling at you today. Compliments of the Topps Casino. Enjoy this fine meal and please keep playing those games. Yeah, so I dump the pasta in there in what I think is going to be a good enough sized bowl for it or a pot for it. No. No. I had to take a measuring cup and add more water to that just in the hopes of getting everything to boil properly. And then there was a lot of pasta sticking to the bottom of the pot and that sort of thing. Oh, it was a mess, guys. I, look, I really enjoy pasta, and the amount of times I talk about food on this channel is just heinous, I know. It, it happens, though. I like food, especially pasta. It's the way it happens. But that was just an unfortunate circumstance. But you know what? It made, it made for good dinner, and it made a lot of leftovers. But to, to add to that chaos, we, we decided... We put some Parmesan Alfredo sauce on that pasta, which, that's a fantastic pasta sauce. The thing is, don't, I, it, I was just making a mess with it, trying to dish up the pasta. It kept falling on the counter, going on the floor, and I'm just, I'm just frustrated at that point. And my, my wife turns to me and she goes, babe, it's all right. You're doing great. You got this. And see if you know anything about uh, it, if you've heard of the five love languages, if you've ever heard of that, you know there's physical touch, there's gift giving, there is words of affirmation, there is oh I for I forget all five of them, uh, the quality time and. Yeah, like I said, I forget all of them. Or I, I... I forget what all of them are. But I'm I'm definitely a words of affirmation guy. Right? So, it, it just... It helps to hear that encouragement. You know, and that's... That's one of the great things about marriage. With love... Love's supposed to be unconditional, Right? love for your husband your wife is unconditional it's you're there for them always you're with them through thick and thin you keep building each other up you encourage each other now let us be good to you we'd like you to enjoy this private suite as long as you're in town Thank you kindly. But yeah. You work as a team. Communication is a huge part of that too. You know, you have to be able to talk to each other. To discuss things. But, you know. That was... She told me, she said what I needed to hear at that moment. And I know she, and I know, you know, that's, that's how she feels as well. That's, that's how, that's what we do for each other. That's what we say to each other. That's how we treat each other. That's love. We tell each other, you got this, and support each other. I'm only two, mo I'm only... Mm, I might my count might be off a little bit on how long we've been married. We we've been married for you know just a, a few months by this point. But I have to tell you guys, marriage is fantastic in that regard. That we're there for each other, that we love each other. We're always going to be there for each other. Right? Marriage is fantastic. And having that unconditional love for each other, 
That's fantastic too. And it was it was it was really encouraging to hear that. To hear you got this babe. And then I have to say guys, it's been kind of a rough day for me today. Record Well, I mean aside from Hey, I've been banned from Okay, pal, you've had enough. Time for you to leave. All right. Thanks for all the money. You're free to enjoy the shows in the bar, but no more games for you at the tops. Thanks for playing. Okay. Yeah, so as I was saying, you know, that was that was so encouraging to hear that. Welcome to the tops. How I'd like to turn to my More ships. Just caps, please. Cap Goodbye. Thank okay. Yeah, make that bit quick, but yeah, getting getting back to this discussion. I had a bit of a rough day today. Not gonna lie. I mean, we we all have some of those, right? We all we all have some of those once in a while. And actually, guys, to uh to speed this up a little bit, I'm going to uh, go to the next save from earlier because basically what we had to do was sneak past some guards in the hallway and get to Benny Sweet, right? And when we get in here... Yes, ma'am. Hey! Hi there! Good to meet you. What can I do for you today? What are you doing here? Good question! My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. Yes, ma'am? What kind of name is that? It's what Benny always called me. Probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. Uh, have you seen Benny, by the way? Sure. He came through here in a big hurry. Didn't even stop to say hello. I think he went down his secret escape elevator out in the hall. Hey, Benny stole a platinum chip from me. Do you know what it's for? Sure. Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device, kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well, some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network, the Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! What's Benny planning to do with the chip? Oh, he wants to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neurocomputational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That should give me control over all Mr. House's defenses, most prominently his Securitrons. And then I just do what Benny tells me. Easy peasy! You're very forthcoming with that information, yes, man. I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty dumb, whoever programmed you, yes, man. Yikes. Boy, you know, that you think that would have been thought of, but no. What if I wanted to take over New Vegas instead of Benny? Then I'd have to help you. I mean, it seems pretty obvious Benny wouldn't want me to, but hey, not my fault I can't say no. What are the details of the plan? Again, goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe. Given how you're a new arrival, I also recommend that you get to know some of the region's tribes, so you can decide how you feel about them. By the time you finished up all of that, the Legion should be close to attacking Hoover Dam, and we'll execute the last phase of the plan. Uh, say Mr. House is going to suffer an accident, how would that happen? It makes me feel really dumb to admit this, but I don't actually know. I've never been inside the Lucky 38. No one has. Mr. House is in there, though. It's the central node of his entire network. I've been inside the Lucky 38, as it happens. 
You have? Wow, that's amazing. You can murder Mr. House whenever you want. In I mean, game, in game. Scheming about how he was gonna get into the lucky 38, but you already took care of that. Wow. The other thing you're going to need is the platinum chip. You know, the one Benny killed a courier for over near Good Springs. What's he know about the courier Benny shot? I knew he was carrying the platinum chip, and I knew right where Benny should wait for him. That's why Benny put me here, to monitor Mr. House's data transmissions. They're all encrypted, of course, but I'm quite a decryptor. Did you know that Mr. House spent 812,545 caps hiring salvage teams to find the platinum chip just in the last year alone? Of course you didn't. Or that there were seven couriers, but six of them were carrying junk. How about their exact routes and the mercenary teams that screened them? I knew all that. Pretty smart, huh? I'm the courier Benny Shot. <laughs> I know that's not true, because you still have a head. I'm serious, yes man. See the scar on my head? Nine millimeter bullets. That's not funny, you getting shot in the head. I really shouldn't have taken so much pride in how I set that up, huh? I feel really bad right now. <sighs> Look. I have more important fish to fry than you, yes man. Benny seems to have run off this platinum chip and, well, I need to get it back. No kidding, he was running fast. He better pace himself. He has to run all the way to Fortification Hill. There's an underground facility there that might have the special hardware required to use the data on the Platinum Chip. It's too bad Caesar's Legion built its camp right above it. Talk about inconvenient. The Platinum Chip is the key to overriding and exploiting Mr. House's defenses. Did I just say exploiting? That's not a very nice word. Once I get the platinum chip, what then? I'd take it straight to Mr. House if I were you. He'll think you're helping him out. Then, when he's not looking, kerpow! The big question is whether to give him the chip before you do him in. He's the one who'll know exactly what to do with it after all. He might upgrade his defensive capabilities right away, or even unlock new ones. But then those defensive upgrades might make it harder for you to finish him off. Hard to say. It's up to you. Let me know when it's done and I'll roll over to the Lucky 38. If I'm right about the chip, I should be able to install myself on House's mainframe. This is gonna be great. I'm gonna help you accomplish so much, whether I want to or not. Yikes, this guy. So I should ask these tribes if they'll support an independent Vegas is what you're saying. Oh no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. What I meant is, you should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. You know, shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. Don't stay away too long. Okay, I want to take that level up first, as it happens, because we have 15 skill points, right? I want to kick my speech up to 50 and my barter up to 35. That's going to be huge, and then before, I took intense training, and I want to do that again. But this time, instead of pumping something into intelligence, which... That would give me more skill points, but I actually want charisma. Oh, uh, yes, oh, man. Hi again. Can I help you with something else? Yeah. You know, I'm really curious. Benny reprogrammed Securitron all by himself? Oh, he had some help. A lady friend of his. She said something about living in a fort over in Freeside. But that's all I remember. All right. Uh, what is this place exactly that I'm that we're in? This is Benny's workshop. When the tops got renovated, he had this half of the floor blocked off for his own use. I guess you could say it's my entire world. 
I don't think I've ever left this room. But that's okay. I'm not complaining. Hey, you said something about a bunker at the fort, right? Right. It's one of two locations on Mr. House's network with non-standard hardware. My guess is it has a reader that can decode the chip. And who knows what else, maybe a giant robot or something. I'll think about it. I have to admire your prudent nature. Why get caught up in action, you know? <laughs> I like his sarcasm. Uh, which tribe should I get to know? There's a bunch. Some of them you've already met, like the chairman, for instance. I think you should visit the other families on this trip. The Omertas and the White Glove Society, so you know what makes them tick. And there are some important groups farther from the Strip, too. Like the Boomers, the Great Khans, and the Brotherhood of Steel. You know, let's talk about the tribes that should get to know, then. Of course, ask away. Uh, what can you t what do you know about the Boomers? They must be a really nasty people. I haven't heard a single good thing about them. They fire artillery on anyone who comes near their settlement at Nellis Air Force Base. Talk about rude. If they can be convinced to fire those big cannons at the Legion, or NCR though, well... That'd be neat, wouldn't it? Let's talk about something else. What should we talk about next? Uh... What about the Great Cons? The Cons are just... They're a dirty people. They live in tents like animals, and they're very rude. They've been kicked around a lot, but no one's finished them off. Not yet, anyway. How have the cons been kicked around? They were one of the tribes the three families pushed out of Vegas. A whole bunch got killed. So they settled at Bitter Springs, but they kept being so obnoxious, the NCR had to kill a whole bunch more of them. So then, they settled at Red Rock Canyon. There's just no getting rid of them. Let's talk about something else, yes, man. What do you know about these Omeritas? Hmm. I remember that Benny used to pay a receptionist at Gamora for information. Maybe she knows something. Do you know anything else about the Omeritas? Just that Benny didn't like them. He talked on and on about how they couldn't be trusted. And this is coming from Benny. He hated their casino, said it was tacky, and he thought they were up to something, because he said they always are. Let's talk about something else. How about this, uh, White Glove Society? From what I understand, they're perfectly delightful. They're cultured, clean, and super polite. Benny didn't like them, though. He said they were creepy. All right. So no, no, no. I. <sighs> Where should I look for this Brotherhood of Steel, yes, man? Some of Mr. House's dad has said that he'd lost a bunch of Securitron scouts near Hidden Valley. Telemetry showed that they'd been attacked with energy weapons. House was pretty sure it was the Brotherhood. There must be a bunch of them holed up there. Not a good place for a robot to visit. What do you know about this Brotherhood of Steel? They go around in big suits of power armor, and they have lots of energy weapons. But there's a downside. They just have a thing about technology. They think it should all be theirs. If someone else has it, they get mad. All I'm saying is, not much of a chance they'll accept a Vegas that polices itself with robots. Alright. Goodbye. Don't stay Okay. Well, I guess we have to sneak back out of here. Other than that, there wasn't really anything interesting with the rooms here. I will say. So, yeah, we're just going to sneak back down the hall here to the elevator. Head to the main floor. Next, we're going to go visit uh, Hotel or uh, Casino Gamora. Or just, it's called Gamora. But that's what that's the place we're gonna go visit next to get some information on Benny or what Benny knew. Call in some favors if you catch my meaning.
Yeah, I don't, I don't like Gamora either. Not the Marvel version. The one in Fallout New Vegas. The reason for that, it is a sleazy, sleazy joint. It's it's not a great place to go. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. All right. You'll get these back on your way out. Thank you kindly. Okay. Now... Yeah, how little we know, I need to talk to the receptionist who is right here. Evening, miss. Hello, and welcome to Gamora. What can I help you with today? I'm sure you have all the good dirt on what goes on around here. I sure do, but loose lips <laughs> sink ships. Of course, I understand that. Don't worry about me. I can keep your secrets for you. All right. You look pretty trustworthy. Look, I'm calling in an outstanding balance for some information. Tell me what the emergents are up to. I knew someone would call in that mark soon. What do you want to know? I need to know who to talk to about what's been going on in Gamora. All I can tell you is to find Kachino. He's the lowest level lieutenant you're going to be able to talk to. Some of the girls say he's been involved in some shady business the family wouldn't really like. Ask him about it. Alright. I need to get going. Bye. I'd ask those other questions, but from playing earlier and having that... What the fuck are you looking at? Okay. Rude. No, but having played earlier and then having the crash happen... I... I will say all she tells us about some of the other factions here in New Vegas... It's, it's stuff we already know. It's stuff we already know about this. Some questions about me, dickweed. What the fuck do you want? I hear you've been doing some business on the side. Business? What the fuck do you mean, business? You looking to get yourself burned? Now you start talking real clear, and I mean fucking crystal clear, because I'm about to lose my patience. I hear you've been dealing with some business that is off limits for the family. I don't give half a dick what you heard. Now get the fuck out of my face before I burn your sorry ass. Got it. Let's read this, shall we? Kashino's journal. Kashino's journal documents a couple months of Kashino's activities. It contains a detailed ledger describing many of his business deals over the last few months, including the sales of chems and weapons. It is clear to a quick glance that these transactions are his own personal finances, and this is done behind the backs of the Emerita family management structure. He also talks in great detail about many sexual encounters with Gamora prostitutes, including Joe. Joanna. After nearly every off-the-book sale or sexual tryst, he vows this one will be his last. Yikes, we've got some material on this guy. Let's talk to him again. You again? What the fuck do you want? Well, I found this ledger that proves some of your side business. Where the fuck did you get that? Okay, listen, buddy. That's some dangerous shit you got there. That book can get me killed if the wrong people see it. Let's talk. What do you want? What can I do for you? Do you think the family would like to see this? I can't stop you, but that's gonna mean my death. I can make it with you a while to give it to me, though. Plus, if you go to the bosses, I can't help you stop what they've been doing. I think I'm gonna keep this for a little while. All right, all right. I can't stop you, but I think we can help each other out. I know not at home in the NCR would be happy to get some dirt on the family. I can help you get that dirt. You got me by the short hairs. Excellent. Yeah. Mm. I'll hold on to it for now. I'm going to hold on to it for now. So now, let's go clean this place out. Welcome to Gamora. How can I help you? I'd like to exchange uh, Legion money f or uh, caps for chips. Here's your chip. Nope. 
All right. Same thing as always, guys. But we're gonna try to make this quick. I don't foresee that happening very easily. So, anyway, I mentioned this uh, family get-together we had today. It was uh, on my wife's side, wife's side of the family. You know, I always inevitably end up talking about food for whatever reason in these recordings. I don't know why. It's, maybe it's just such a good topic. We had walking tacos today. They were fantastic. I, I will say, though, so... They had this kind of like a ketchup squirt bottle sort of thing filled with taco sauce. And they marked it as hot. It wasn't, guys. It was kind of a letdown. You know, had the Doritos chips, had lettuce, tomato, and some, some taco meat, you know. And then I put this taco sauce on it. And initially I was having issues with it. I'm like, is there... Is it creating a vacuum on the inside of this or something? Because it was just getting stuck in... I'm like, is there an air bubble inside of this? So I hand it to my wife, and I'm like, here, could you help me get this? Something was stuck in the top of it. I hadn't seen it. She sees it immediately. Do I have man eyes? Guilty as charged. That, that absolutely happened. But, so she gets that out, and then it immediately just... Just right into the bag of chips. And I'm like, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> but yeah, no, like I said, it was the the taco sauce wasn't even hot at all. It little which is a little bit of a letdown, but also kind of a relief because the only thing I had with me was a water bottle. I, like I didn't have anything to mitigate heat. I would have been sitting there with my mouth on fire for the rest of the evening. And mind you, so we were at this event for three hours. The walking tacos were ready maybe 30, 45 minutes in. I would have been sitting there for another two hours, two hours, 15 minutes, with my mouth on fire potentially, and then knowing that we still had to drive home. Because this, was, this wasn't this was even in the same zip code. This wasn't in the same town. We had to drive probably 35, 40 minutes just to get to this place. So my mouth would have been on fire maybe the entire time. Maybe I'm probably also exaggerating a little bit, embellishing the story, probably. But I mean, it's it's a legitimate it's a legitimate concern, right? I I've had that happen before. It reminds me of a time when I was at college and there's some serious shit going on. We went to uh, hey, excuse hey, me. Hey, look who has the hot hands. Here, have something special on the house. R reminds me of when we went to Who Hot one time, and me being smart, I decided, you know what? I'm going to get the hottest combination of sauces that you can put on on your food as I can, like in the bowl, because they they have different heat levels of of the sauces and combinations, right? Kind of like recipes. And I look at it, I'm like, you know, that's a level 5 heat? I think I can do that. I got most of the way through that bowl and regretted my decision. I didn't even get all the way through it. It was messing with my stomach so bad. It, it, was, it wasn't the heat that was the problem, I suppose. It was my stomach going, ha, you wimp. So that was... Fun times. But yeah. So I guess something you guys know about me now. I like pasta and spicy food. Right? I'm talking about food on this channel again. Yikers. Here we go again. I mean, I could talk about... I could talk about work a little bit. Because I do... I do have a full-time position when I'm not recording. That sort of thing. But... It was kind of a slow week, actually. The the type of slow where you're like, you know, I kind of wish I had a little bit of something to do. Because I like what I do. 
It's just, you know, eight, hour, eight hours a day can feel a little bit long sometimes. It, especially when it's like, I, I need something here. But, you know what? I'm not complaining. It's a good income. I like what I do. And I... It's all a matter of perspective, too. I should be thankful that I have a job at all, right? I mean, and I, I think that's the silver lining in all of this. You, you always have to look for that silver lining, the bright side of things. Mine is that, you know, I'm doing this for my wife. So that we can buy a house and hopefully have kids in the future. I'm thinking with others in mind. Going, I want to do... I want to do the right thing. Do, do right by family. If that makes sense. Looks like someone is on a roll. Luck be a lady tonight. Here's a little something from the family. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to pull that out. Uh, but yeah. I mean, that's kind of what's been going on with me. But like I said, I, I kind of had a bit of a rough day today. Wow, that was a lot of aces in a row. Because... You know, I because I, I tried to do the the, fall, uh, the Fallout New Vegas recording earlier of all of this, and you know, I lost two and a half hours of content, like I said. And then there was a little bit of an argument this morning that happened. Everything got resolved. Closed the loop on it. Closed the loop is very important. Should know that if you are dating. If you are looking to get married or are married. Actually, closing the loop is good on any sort of argument or disagreement that you have. That's two king of spades. That's not right. Did you see that, guys? This deck's rigged. But anyway, yeah. I mean, if you're having, if you're having a disagreement, an argument, never go to bed angry. Always, always close the loop. Think before you speak. Be be quick to listen, slow to anger, and slow to speak. Right? And be gracious. Be gracious to each other. I'm not always good at it. I'm, I'm going to admit that. I'm not. And... My wife, I'm sure, definitely would agree with that sentiment as well. I'm not... I'm not always good at it. I... I'm actually... I'm actually really bad at it. But... You know... I'm a work in progress. So is everybody else. Right? I'm not going to sit here and claim I have everything figured out. I don't. I don't know how it all works. I don't. And that's fine by me. I'm willing to learn. You keep on spending money in here. You got to give us a chance to win something back. Here's something nice for you. Oh, there's the combat armor reinforced. I got that earlier. That was that was very nice to receive. Okay. Back to the blackjack grind, huh? Ooh. Lost 200 ships. Oh! Yikers! Trying to think if I have any other interesting or funny stories that happened with me recently. Um. Hmm. That's a really good question. You know, I know I've said it on this channel before. I write in my free time. Uh, I have I have not been doing a good job of that recently. You know, I I write I write fantasy novels, sci-fi, or and or uh, like uh, superhero. There we go. My. My brain's kind of going into brain fart mode. I'm I'm playing the game here. I'm like I'm focused. 
I'm having a terrible time multitasking with this. You know, actually, that reminds me. So, my wife, she doesn't drive too overly often. I mean, she's she's good with in-town driving, but she was the one who drove to that, that family event today, and she was kind of nervous starting it, so, you know, I'm, I'm sitting there encouraging her. I'm like, hey, you got this. You're doing great. You're doing great. You know, and giving her driving tips and pointers, because she, she, she doesn't drive on a highway a lot. <laughs> on the way back, I go to give her advice, and she's like, I'm actually doing all right. I got this. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> it was both gratifying and also a little like, I am, I am sorry for... I'm sorry for trying to give you unsolicited okay, advice on that. this. No more games for you. Go rob the tops. You're done here. All right. Have some drinks. <laughs> talk to some dancers. But you are done at my tables. All right. I guess you should know I've already cleaned out the tops. That's uh, twice today that I've done both of those. Uh, like turning my chips. Caps, please. Boom. Goodbye. Have a good time and good luck. <laughs> Hey YouTube, my wife's here. Hello. And this place is I need to get out of this place. This is a disgusting place. I hate Okay, so this this casino is called Gamora and it's 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 not great, baby. It's Okay, think about it like they they have prostitutes here. I I hate this place, but I also had an achievement that I'm working toward on mm. you know, make, getting kicked out of all of the casinos in New Vegas. Fun. Also, hilarious thing that happens. So, when you're when you're sitting and playing blackjack and that sort of thing at the tables, mm -hmm. when you go into the casino, they're like, "Hey, we need to you need, we you need to keep your weapons back. Like, we need to take them off of you because we want this to be a safer place to be, right?" Mm -hmm. So they take all that stuff. Your carry weight goes goes way down. Mm -hmm. They hand all that stuff back to you once you exit the building, mm -hmm. right? So. You end up walking like this. Hmm. Over encumbered. Too much stuff in your pocket. It's like, I really got a poo, but I'm not near a toilet. You know what I mean? It, it's like, you're, you're, you're having that really bad walk. D d no, that is something completely different, babe. Do you, do you even know what that means? Um... Go out, you're really wasted, and then you go back home? That's not what that means, babe. Or you go back to wherever you're staying? No, 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 no. You definitely go back somewhere when it's a walk of shame, but that's not what walk of shame means. You I don't know how your viewers, how old your viewers are, so... I don't either. I don't either, to be honest, <laughs> and I'm not going to ask you guys to put that in the comments section by any means. That's Fine, personal you. information. No. <laughs> we don't ask for that around here. Just glad you're watching, right? Take care of cats. All right, sounds good. Scratching at the door. Yeah, I, I can hear that. No, babe, walk of shame is something completely different. Okay, wait, completely wait a minute. Do I have a? Do I still have a quest in there? I do, but I'm holding on to that. Let's see here. You know, what? let's go uh, collect some debts in game. Yeah, that's just nasty what they're doing on the street there. That's just wrong. Let's get out of this place. <sighs> always nice when my wife drops by, though. You know? So it's always a lot of fun when she does. Okay, Freeside's East Gate. Let's, let's go there. Hopefully, the increased speech stat is going to help here, because last time it didn't. Uh, actually, let's go to Mick and Ralph's first. I stopped in here before, you know, before the crash happened. Let's do this. Welcome to Mick and Ralph. If you need guns, I'm your man. For general oh, supplies and other... Look at those shifty eyes he has. He's just Ralph. looking off in the corner of his eyes the entire time. Doesn't even want to make eye contact. 
Uh, do you have any special items for sale? Why? Do you work for one of the casinos? Uh, no. In that case, yes, I do. Follow me. The wasteland is such a weird place, babe. <laughs> like I always say, a polite society is an armed society. So, how, how are you doing? I'm good. H how was your bath? It was nice. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. So, uh, remember that discussion we had in the car earlier? Which one? The first one. So, on, on our way back from the family get-together. About the, the weird and crazy things in series that we like, that we... Oh. You know, it's like, you don't always think about it, but then when you do, you're like, uh, yikes. Yeah. So, what... How was it that we started that conversation? Do you remember? You started talking about Harry Potter and how <sighs> that one professor who had Voldemort <sighs> attached to his head, um, how he got the troll in the dungeon. Troll in the dungeon! Sorry. Sorry, my wife is making a face at me and cringing. I need to keep my voice down a little bit. Sorry about that. But... Yeah. So, having read the books multiple times and seen the movies multiple times, I still don't know. How did Professor Quirrell get the troll into Hogwarts? If you know, please let us know. <laughs> Leave it down in the comments section, guys, because this is a mystery. Uh, you owe the carrots a bunch of caps. Sorry, I, I do tend to do like a little bit of voice acting with playing this and then trying to have a conversation. It always gets a little weird, you know? VIP, the girl said nothing about VIP status. Yes, indeed. Santiago is very important. I even have a discount. I know they can. <laughs> Perhaps you but you know what? Santiago's Sometimes it's nice to have that that auditory Santiago cue as well with it, right? To have to that bit discount. of the conversation. Okay. <sighs> Francine warned me that you're a smooth talker. Indeed, Santiago is a poet among pretenders. If you're here to collect for the Garrets, Santiago is debt free. I'd rather not kill you, but Francine put a bounty on your head. I didn't think she was upset enough to have me killed. Here are the caps I owe. I do the Santiago act to get out of paying for services every once in a while. I didn't think it could possibly get me killed. Well, I'll see you later. Thank you kindly. Bye. Also, for the record, was not actually going to kill you. In game. <laughs> okay, so the context, because you're you're looking mesmerized like what the heck is going on here? So I I took a quest for a a casino that's out little turn, turn around. Go go to that alleyway. What is he doing? He's up to no good. I it's a trap. You're about to see why I say that. I distinctly remember this, babe. I dis I distinctly remember what's going on here. Because if I do this, what do you see? Um. What's it say? Freeside thug. Yeah. These guys are wanting to mug me in game. <laughs> yeah. Uh <sighs> Frag out. Thank you, military man Boone. Yeah. If I did if I didn't have Vault Tech assisted targeting system, VATS for short, like I would be walking in I would be walking into an ambush. That's what plasma does in this Okay Boone, did not see that did not need that visual right there. <laughs> I was trying to talk to my wife. <laughs> 
So yeah, welcome to Fallout New Vegas, the game where everything is horrific. But yeah, the, these are basically raiders. Yeah. These freeside thugs, basically they're they're just here to rob you. They're here to attack you in New Vegas. If that specifically in freeside, because with with New Vegas, it's guarded by what are called Securitron robots mm -hmm. from the by the person that owns New Vegas and runs New Vegas, Mr. House. So, he owns something called Robco Industries. You know, robots. So, they're, he has these robots stationed there. So, in New Vegas, you're not going to see Freeside Thugs. The place is run by the casinos. I always suspected Benny was a coward. Hey, man. Can you spare a few caps? What, are you collecting money to pay back the Garrets or something? Oh, yeah. I guess the Garrets sent you after me. Look, I've got the caps right here. Just don't hurt me. Hey, you don't cheat the Garrets and walk away. Cough up the rest or you're rat bait. Okay, here. That's everything I've got except the clothes on my back. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> That'll do. Mess the Garrets again and uh, you're dead. I won't. When my speech skill isn't high me. enough. You, you know what I mean? Also, for the record, I wasn't actually going to kill you in-game. Uh, I feel I feel really bad having to shake people down to get... Well, not shaking people down. It's collecting on debts that they owe. If that makes sense. It's like places that are struggling money-wise and they need it back. You're just you're just mesmerized by this whole thing, aren't you? You're like, what the heck is going on? What did I walk in on? I am I describing that correctly? All right. That was a nod of the head, by the way. I know you can't see because we don't do face cam, but she nodded her head on that one. Yeah, you you jumped in like seven parts into this playthrough, babe. <laughs> Hey, Francine. I hear Benny went missing. I can't help but wonder what happened to him. Look, I, uh, I think I have all the debts collected. I don't care how you handled those lumps of human refuse, but you got the job done. We need you to hunt down another person. That son of a bitch McCaffrey stole a ton of caps and ran off to Vegas. I guess the fact that we farmed out his usual work to you pissed him off. No one steals from the Garrett twins. If you can kill that bastard and bring back as much as you can, you'll be paid very well. If I see McCaffrey on the strip, I'll be sure to take care of him. Good. Babe, I played this earlier. Dead and you'll, be rewarded you'll see how this goes. Bring his hat as proof of it's, the kill. It's not as bad as what they're talking about. I... Trust me on this. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Well... Look, it's it's wrong just to go around killing people in a game, right? It's a game. It doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't matter, but, you know, morality in real life is like morality in a video game, right? That's... Uh, for the record, YouTube, we haven't really had this discussion before on how we view... I'm actually surprised by your answer, babe. <laughs> Yikers. Also, get out of my way, people. Where is this? There he is. Huh. So the Garrett sent you to track me down. What a joke. Hey. Give me a share of the caps in your hat and you can go free. Now why the hell should I do that? You're below me, kid. I've been killing scum twice your size since before your mother squeezed you out. All I need is your hat and you're a free man. I'll tell Francine you're dead. Well, that sounds like a bit of a bargain. I get to walk free with the Garrets thinking I'm dead. Sure, you can have my hat. I can always buy another with the caps I've got left. It would have been more fun fighting it out, though. See you later, kid. Yep, it was perfect plan. And now... Come on. Is that where I wanted to fast travel to? Was that the right place? Oh boy. I could have just walked, couldn't I? I always do this when I play this game. I'm like, I can fast travel, it'll be fine. No, it won't. No, it won't. 
every time I do this. So, uh, what, what was the other... Yeah. So, back to the whole Harry Potter thing, YouTube. Once again, if you know how Professor Quirrell got the troll into the dungeon, or Voldemort with Professor Quirrell... Yeah, I know, spoilers. It's... Spoilers, people. So people. That's the joke. That's the joke, babe. It's been out for like 25 years. If they haven't, we're. F Actually, no, it's been 23 years. Harry Potter's been out since the year I was. The movies or the books? Because. The movies. Because the books, I believe the first one was published in 1998. Yeah, the books have been out longer than Some me, gamblers came in the saying they'd seen you enter the Lucky 38. I have to say, I'm before. impressed. I don't know of any other living person who's been in there. Well, I mean, if you want to be a little more impressed, I took care of McCaffrey for you. Yes! Where's his hat? Right here. This is great news. No one screws with the Garrett twins and gets away with it. I need to find a place on the wall for this. And for your reward, here's 150 caps. I trust there were also some valuables on McCaffrey. Also, we would like to set you up with a room. You can have the corner room, rent free. It was McCaffrey's. Now that he's dead, we're happy to let you use it. Thanks for helping us. Hey, no problem. Thank you for the room. Bye now. Till next time. Accepted. Folks have come to accept you for your helpful nature. Nice. And I didn't even have to... Well, okay, the free side thugs are an exception, but... But yeah, no, uh... Yeah, no, 1998 for the book, and then... You sure the first movie is 2001? Yes. That Okay, that, that does sound right. So, yeah, t 23 years on that. All right. So 23 years. All right. Yeah. I love those oh, they're so good. The problem is, and I'm I'm sure you'd agree with this, right? the The problem with those is they're well, actually, you haven't read the books yet, have you? We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at if only you knew how much they left out of the movies. They're well, actually, okay. Correction: they left, they left a lot of stuff out of the movies. Yes, but not all of it is stuff that didn't need to be left out of it. The except an exception to that being, uh, Sir Nicholas's uh, death day party from the second book. Yeah. Sorry, spoilers. But, yeah, they left that out. But something that I'm glad they did leave out... I'm not going to say this one. Why? Just say it. Are you sure? Yeah. I, I don't want to spoil the books for you, though, babe. It's okay. Ugh. I'll probably forget anyway. Bye. She's using my own line against me. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> What is this, reverse psychology? Or, oh, boy, babe. Am I... You're sure I'm not going to feel bad about this later? No. Welcome to the uh, Crimson Company, no, you're not sure? Company, New Vegas branch. What may I, I do sure. for you? Okay. Uh, I'm looking for work. Certainly. Oh, no, I don't want to know about the Crimson Caravan. Uh, okay. So, there's this thing that Hermione does starting in Order of the Phoenix... I'll take it. What do I need to know? This invoice to Dr. There, so, you can find him somewhere Hermione, after how... Because... Okay. It's been a pleasure. It's kind of a whole storyline. There was a... There was a house elf in Goblet of Fire. Mm -hmm. And... She was owned by... Oh... The Crouches. You, you know what I'm talking about here, right? Okay. By, uh... So, you know, Mr. Crouch and, you know, Barty Crouch and Barty Crouch Jr. That sort of thing. Uh, I believe her name is Winky. 
YouTube, correct me if I'm wrong on that. I might be. But she was treated poorly by the Crouches, right? And she made to do terrible things to help Barty Crouch Jr., who, as you know, Death Eater, trying to get bring Voldemort back, right? Spo Once again, people, spoilers. And so Hermione... What what do you think Hermione does in response to all of this? She helps the house elf. Think of it in a broader context, right? Like what what do you think I what do you think I mean by think of it in a broader context, babe? I don't know. Okay, I I'll just I'll just say it then. She doesn't just decide that she wants to help one house elf. She helps a lot. Well, she attempts to help a lot. She, she thinks she's helping, but she really doesn't. Okay, how is it that a person can help a house elf best, would you think? Giving them clothes. So what do you think she does? Steals clothes. Uh, no, it's Hermione. Try again. <laughs> she gives clothes. Uh, that's half correct what else can you do with clothes uh, oh yikes what's going on uh okay so on your right here we have ncr troopers okay. new california republic so after the battle of anchorage 2187 after the bombs drop yeah. you know okay fallout happens it's New New California Republic takes over, so kind of the the splinter of the of the West Coast, right? Yeah. Creating their own governmental society with an Jeez. with an army. Oh yeah, he's traveling with me. This is Boone. He's a sniper. <laughs> I picked him up at a motel with a dinosaur nearby. His family got sold into slavery, hmm. and he wanted justice slash revenge. So I helped solve the mystery solve the mystery and he uh put his anger toward something like you just saw there anyway um oh yikes <laughs> thanks boone <laughs> he's a, yeah he's a sniper are you okay babe yeah I just... you you just weren't expecting that were you so, uh, the Fiends, they are another raider faction around New Vegas. Yeah? Come here. Okay, guys, we're gonna sit still for a few seconds here. My wife wants cuddles. And you know what? I'm not gonna say no to that, right? Oops, sorry, that was the headset, babe. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, talking about Harry Potter, so Hermione, she decides that she's going to make clothes okay. for the house elves and leave them around for them, right? Yeah. She makes little socks, stocking hats, you know, mag magically uh, knitting things and that sort of thing. How do you think the house elves respond to that? Uh, no. No, they do not. Okay, you're an NCR trooper, that's fine. They don't, babe. It is honestly n not a very good storyline. It's, uh... And then she, she tries to create this, uh... This, uh, society on doing this called Spew. Uh... The Society for the Protection of Elven Welfare, I believe is what it's called. That's what that acronym, acronym stands for. Now, I could be wrong. I don't typically acronym what... But I think that's what it stands for. You know, I always have to wonder, why are people just running about in this game? Mm -hmm. Like, they give NPCs that running speed. And then, this, for me, this is as fast as my character can run in-game. Without DLC. Or not, not DLC, without getting a mod or something. I can only run this fast. Like, I'd hardly call this running. I don't know either, babe. I really... To be
be honest, some choices were made on uh, developing these older games. I don't, I don't know if it was just harder to get a sprint function in. I don't know. But, yeah, so Hermione creates this uh, S Society for the Protection of Elven Welfare, SPEW. You know, thinking that she's going to free house elves. And they talk to the house elves, and they're like, uh, no, we don't want this. You know, Dobby works in the kitchens at, at Hogwarts. And he's like, I'm so glad to be free. Dobby is free. You know, things like that. And all the other house elves are like, P.O. <laughs> you know what I mean by that? Why? Because they don't want to be free. Why don't they want to be free? I don't... I, that's the lifestyle they have. I mean... A little busy at the moment, they, but I can talk. I mean, that's what they're used to. I don't know. Oh, what is this place? This? So, yeah, yeah I, I mean... We don't it's just so visitors. weird. The smell puts people off, I think. Nobody you know what I mean? Science would smell clean and fresh. Anyway, you get used to it. So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of the black sheep of storylines in Harry Potter. Uh, are you a scientist? So no I wonder know, didn't make it to the movies, the right? You're raised by Brahmin ranchers oh, and you never cute, lose babe. I held my hand out. And she did that thing where she, you, she puts her chin on it. Oh, it's it's so cute. Sands. You want to kiss me? Try to optimize the power output for Yeah, the PDA without face cam. Take that, you too. <laughs> they aren't making much progress. Sorry for talking through this dialogue, by the way. Everything all right, babe? What was that? Oh, yeah. Uh, what's your role here? Head researcher. Mostly on the dam project, but I love, help out I love you, babe. when they need me. Got to be flexible. But yeah, uh no. As far as weird, uh, need help with anything? Weird and wacky mm -hmm. things in Harry no, Potter. Be no, what? what our, our, our initial, office. our initial conversation was on the leave. thing that was in a uh, family him. member's bathroom with the Prince poster, right? And I already, I already talked to YouTube about that on this one. Mercenaries, what for? But I can't say. <laughs> I, I'm just going between Not two conversations details. with two if different voices. This isn't weird too. at all. <laughs> I'm not crazy, I swear. Sorry. Sorry about that, babe. But Nice to meet you. Anyway, if you need anything, I'm almost That's what led into the Harry Potter stuff, right? It's like, you know, what in our favorite movie series and book series or even TV series that sort of thing did we not notice the first time around or we noticed and we're like, eh. But then you get to thinking about it and you're like, "Oh gosh." You remember that conversation? Yes. A pleasure to meet you. Okay. So what was that Thomas conversation about, babe? Director of Operations, OSI yeah, East. I presume talking. you're here I about Vault 22? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. Wonderful. Straight to it, then. Have you signed the release forms? No? I want to say, matter. um... We'll keep that to ourselves. Vault 22. Where to well, begin? Well, you asked me, like, what else have I noticed in, like, movies or shows that, like, I watched years later and wondered how that happened or yeah i'm listening what <laughs> i'm listening is going on. Below the waste um, bloom. vast fields of i'd have to say the one thing that i have recently watched from my childhood their branches and always just looked at was um hung with fat ripe oranges uh, a watching the low and stitch a city and, or a nation um, when Nani was and on the this, phone talking with somebody, I don't know no if it was David or if it was like somebody water. else, and the but she was talking and Stitch was like in the fridge. Impossible. And it looks like all forms are out in his antennas <laughs> and everything, but when, like, it was only like Precisely. a split second Science where they showed that shadow, and then when she looks over, at him, but how many he's completely like, you know, believing. normal, quote-unquote. The and body like, I described to you is no idle fancy. If you remember, it like, in, in before form, he even, like, a few miles from where um, stand. met Lilo, it took him a while to even try that, and do something like answer. that. So I'm just wondering how, like, if, like, because she was, like, talking Isn't about him being, like, a monster, like, that's why they casted that others, shadow, or, or like, if he actually made. was like it's that, and he learned how to morph Nothing so more. fast that it I was, believe that the inhabitants like, of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative so, growth. So, if Plants anyone knows that no answer, please no let me know. 
Yet they yeah, and spread in there's a difference between movie magic and animated movie magic. I feel like that was just one of those moments where the camera turns and in a split second, you know, they you pan back. It, it's something that the audience is supposed to notice. All right, I'll do it. But good. It's check in with but yeah, no, something like that is definitely weird. My personal opinion. He sucked his arms in that quickly, but it could be also that they were going with something thematic. Because everybody thought he was kind of like a monster, but when, then when you actually look at him... Exactly. You know, he's just sitting in a refrigerator going, Stay trying No, it's more like he looks at Nani, he puts a can of either pop or like coffee in his mouth, and he slams the door of the refrigerator and something else you need stairs. Yeah. From Alice. Yeah. I'll see that she's paid no, right but away. the I Good the thing we talked about operation, even out here, specifically earlier that I remember ready. it was also Harry was Potter. Yes. Yes. Do you remember what the part universe? I was talking about? The invisible cloak. Yeah. Okay, so I have a theory. I I have a theory, and I know that's a very dangerous thing to say on YouTube these days with you know Matt Pat and that sort of thing. Not stepping on any toes here. I don't think Harry's invisibility cloak is the only invisibility cloak out there. I think he's wrong. I think he. I think there's only one invisibility cloak, but... So, you'll need to hear our reasonings on this. But, when we're first introduced, and it could be that it's kind of a retcon within the series itself, but when Harry first get receives the invisibility cloak in Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone, Philosopher's Stone, depending on whether you're in the United States, Great Britain, Australia, whatever. You know, Ron turns from him and goes, Whoa! That's like really rare. But he doesn't say, that's the only one in existence. I don't know if it's just because he's an eleven year old kid or because you know, it's maybe it's not the only one, but then Deathly Hollows goes back and goes, "Oh, you know, death." Like grants them like a gift, and like the only invisible cloak is that one, and ever told in the story, and there's never said that there's others out there. So that's why my reasoning is: is there only one? And he thinks because of Ron saying, oh, those are really rare, that he thinks there's more than one. Well, but so then, let us oh, know sorry. what you think in the comments. Sorry. And I, I want to twist your brains on this one a little bit more, guys, because what you're referring to, babe, remember what Xenophilius Lovegood says about the tales of Beetle the Bard? He's yes. like, old stories are based in some reality. Yes, but like, like in some fact. Like I feel like that's like a history thing in Harry Potter was like death and like the three gifts. I like I feel like that was like a history lesson. I think it's a bit of a, a lore dump really on you know why the book and the movies kind of matter why they have that name but at the same time it's maybe it's it's like we don't want to give away exactly how these came into existence, right? The three brothers actually existed but maybe it's not Maybe it's not exactly how it's described in the story. Right? I still think it's Welcome like back. history. Because well, like, you've proven yourself reliable The reason why so I think far, it's like a history be lesson is in because more like jobs. even if it's like a legend, as much as I like to handle truth, matters if personally, you think of I can't be everywhere and, at once. Um, the mom talking there is to Merida a negotiation about the kingdom with a trading and Mardu that I'd like being resolved one of the four brothers. As possible. There's also also, the I love Henry Raven. Jameson, I'm a huge an like Disney and Pixar buff, so do you will probably hear me talking a lot about that on however. his and finally, YouTube. I need someone so to enjoy. <laughs> yeah, brace yourselves, guys. <laughs> this job needs to she, she comes out swinging no with her Disney no knowledge, no believe me. She and her family, they sat down and watched a lot of those. There's a I grew up with movies and Cassidy everything, so that I'm interested in I... Acquiring. Will come They've out with random competitive. movie knowledge. So it's time to buy them so out. She, she really does. She knows a lot more than I do. Cast. Like What's a lot, a lot more. <laughs> cast frequently. You laugh, babe, star, but so you'll likely you don't even. I'm only beginning to scratch the surface on your movie knowledge. I know that. 
He the also Jamisons stole these are very wealthy ranchers um, back in Redding, California, and uh, significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. Brace yourself, guys. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the new Vegas branch. I love rom-coms, and I need to get him into as you can like see, he wasn't exactly the cut out for the job. I mean, he I'm a guy. That's, that's usually how it works, babe. Because of his family. But yes, I, I mean, I father has been raised Henry with needs to be convinced So when to quit, he's like, one way or whenever another. he gets a I won't have a useless person, employee on the uh, company payroll. His, a girl, uh, he will. The quality of like, the gun he'll be very well versed in being like, okay, what do we want to watch? Do we want to watch? She's the man. Ten things I hate about you. Thirteen going on thirty. I've seen two of those three. Which means two. Of, I've seen two of those four. I'm fifty percent of the way there on those ones. The proposal. Seen that one? Excellent movie. Ryan Reynolds, Betty White. Watch it. If, oh, and Sandra Bullock. Don't forget. If you haven't seen that movie, go watch it. Please. It's hilarious. Oh, get 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 get. My mom sent. I love my mom. She sent me a video. Of um, a woman in her bathing suit with a pumpkin spice latte. And it was like the scene from the proposal of her and Betty White in the woods. I'm not going to make the whole reference. So if you've seen it, bless you and you and your house. To the window, to the walls, that's all we're going to say. <laughs> and it's, like, it's like she's like trying to summon the fall weather in the 100 degree heat. Because we had uh, two heat waves come through earlier this week. So, I thought it was very funny when my mom sent me that, and I was like, that is me. So, I I thoroughly enjoyed that video. Yeah, it's, oh, I, I'm just picturing the scene in my head right now, it's, it's hilarious. <laughs> it's a great scene, though. It really is. I love it. Her and Betty White. Betty White is just the cutest little lady, too. Rest in peace, Betty White. Oh, yeah. But no, back to the weird things we notice in TV shows and movies. I'm sorry, we get very sidetracked. Very easily. We do. No, I'm good with sidetracks. Sidetracks are content, babe. <laughs> I know, but like, I feel bad. Like They have to try and follow all of this. You come around like a bad habit. Oh, it's alright. What's on your mind? They probably have ADHD, too. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry for calling you people out. I'm so sorry. Please I forgive me. I self-diagnosed. They want to buy castle well, caravans. Well, attention, don't don't know it's hey, do you, to donut. Ash? I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't go are. just passing Not that sure information out because it's like, no, you actually need a medical all diagnosis all on a lot of things yeah. with that, and I, I, I completely understand that. I self-diagnosed myself with a lot happened. of different things. She, she does get sidetracked very easily and has those squirrel moments like all the time. She spaces out. Like she was driving today. And she and goes and looks at something that's like a bright color, and I'm like, babe, the light turned green. And she's like, what? Oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was also if a someone tired. came up to you... And yeah, no, I get that. We did three hours of peopling today. I mean, family interactions are Actually, fun, but... You know what? Fuck it. I mean... I want to hear your answer anyway. I also met two nice older Point couples is, today. I made the case. Yeah. That was nice. Wait, was that at the family event, too? No, at uh, the Riverfront. Alice oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. So uh, why don't you talk about that a little bit? I know she's yeah. So um. Still, it's not about the me money. Me and my mom and my sister Dad went on been a, like a little daughter date. You ever heard I said we went out for breakfast, for and where we were eating breakfast, we saw like this riverboat cruise I know you came all this way, down and that takes at, some drive, um, especially at the riverfront. Just doesn't. And we were like, well, why not go down and look at it and check it out and all that? And um, we see um this older couple talking to a friend. That I it's know. the caravan Clarence that's and, um, getting stuck here. We talked to him I'm for sure a little bit too, and then we got talking me to up. this couple. Give me that and paper. And they're very sweet. They were all the way from uh, Kansas. No sense is trying what to hold said. the past between your fingers. And, um, nothing to do. Very sweet, like all right. older lady and man. There you like, go. So Caravan's yours. I just, you will hear You're me call old relieved, people actually. cute because I think old people are cute. Because guess I didn't realize how much I was carrying around with just the name. That's just me. But, um... No idea. I just thought it was Maybe very sweet how they just head back stopped west? and talked with us. And, like, Though the idea of heading fun. back and then there with my tail between my legs isn't We walked a little bit, and then we appealing. met this other couple from California. And Where? They were very Like sweet Vegas? Too, so. it was Shoot, it's been nice. enough friends out. And then we out. saw a cute fluffy dog. East? Get put in one of Caesar's little camps. Yeah. yeah. No very nice walk and just Head back nice west? Time. Yeah, nice. I and everyone in it. So now I go back there, ruined. Never really well, yeah, well, realized how small the I, I didn't ask you about your your breakfast and that sort of thing. I kind of wish I had. 
you know, YouTube, here we go. We're we're talking about food on the channel again. We're doing it. We like you take care now. Oh, we we really like food. What what you have? I had a sausage, uh, cheese and egg sandwich. And it was like big. It was like this like it was big. It was like really decent. Okay, I'm going to try to describe the dimensions to you here, YouTube. Maybe 9, 10 inches by solid 5 or 6. It, this might be a fish story, too, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I can't tell. She's, she's, doing the, she's doing the fish motion with the hands, and I don't know how much she's embellishing the story or not. No, it was a big sandwich, but it was very delicious. My mom had a quiche that was also that size, and my sister also had a bacon sandwich. So, yeah, they were big. They were really big breakfast items, and my mom and my sister also got scones. So scones. Yeah. Hey, scones is a great transition point. Go back to Harry Potter. What was the crazy thing we were talking about with Harry Potter? I know you're trying to dance around it, babe, but I don't know what we're. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you talking about? the old library thing. I mean, we can bring that up, too. I mean, that was part of the discussion. But no, no, no. What we talked about in the car that I'm trying to get get at is what led to that discussion. Or actually, no. It, it was the Prince thing, wasn't it? It was the Prince thing that led okay. to that discussion. Okay. So, okay. Why, why don't you say what your, what your story was at the library, then? Okay, so with him, I'm sure he told you all about the Prince thing. I did. Uh, so... <laughs> He asked if I ever had, like, a thing like that. Like, if I ever was freaked out or something. Um, so, at our old library, before they moved places, um, we, they hosted a Harry Potter, um, uh, New Year's party. New Year's Eve party. And it was very fun. And, um... They had little pictures of Moni Myrtle in the uh, you know bathroom. All stirred up lately? And I don't know why it freaked me out so much that she was just sitting. Welcome back. Like a picture was just sitting there, but it freaked me out knowing that Very like good. I was going On to the bathroom and to be more this profitable in picture the was looking at me the and it would and this like, is like be looking occasions. at my back and I didn't like how that I didn't like that feeling. So it's been a pleasure. My friend uh, wrapped the picture off, and she was like, "There, you're, you're, it's all good now. You can go to the bathroom." She seriously ripped off the picture, threw it away, and everything for me. And she did that to the other stall too, in case if I ever had to go to either one later on. So it was very nice. <laughs> anyway, um, then, um. Did you know the strips all stirred up lately? I'm trying to remember what else happened. I mean, you didn't tell me the bit about ripping oh, yeah. it off she of the ripped, wall. She ripped that picture off of the wall, both stalls, and threw them away. Oh, man. Oh, that just makes me feel bad for what I'm about to say next. <laughs> I think you know what I'm alluding to now, babe. Talking about our discussion about Moni Myrtle? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so if you really want to twist your brains on Harry Potter... Uh, Moni Myrtle is not a great character. I, I can't even stand her voice. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping well, people around Well, not here, just right? that, but, okay. To keep up the so, work. Chamber of Secrets. Except she's killed by the Basilisk, right? Yes. Fifty years, she's been haunting Hogwarts. And what does she do with her time? She's in the bathroom. All the time. Or in the bathing place. Also bathroom. Also, also bathroom. That's that's a yeah. prefix bathroom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, t but it, it's telling what what she says. What she says in the book, both the books and the movies, on how she talks about it. But Make a brief stop at the, the the way she describes it, she's always hanging around in the plumbing, right? Do you know what she's doing with her time? Watching people poop and pee. Hey. It's disgusting. That's just. That's just garbage. Like, Shut girl. Off. You're like, making my luck turn bad. 
I know these men are probably cute no. to you no in general. I don't know how she is, My dad said but I like, could be in charge of the new Vegas gross branch. and weird. Besides, Get out. Like, I into a little money trouble with the Americans. Ugh. If I quit the Crimson Caravan, how am I supposed yeah, to Yeah, no wonder Harry was a little freaked out by it. I bet every boy was freaked what? out by it. No, no, wait. Look, I just need time. Uh, don't rat me out to them. You think it was just the guys she did that with, too? I quit. I'm you pretty can tell sure McLaffrey that you won't see my face again. The way it's described, I think you're probably right on that, but I mean, that doesn't make it any that doesn't make me feel any better about her as character, babe. No. Like that that is heinous what she's doing. Yeah, I'm like, probably scar some kids. Okay, okay. If we're gonna talk about Money Myrtle here, the way I, I'd like to have this conversation go probably I love is, how we're talking about Money Myrtle and I saw the word. That I was thinking. What what was the word? Uh thirsty, horny. Oh uh, <laughs> Hey, hey, whenever I see that line pop up on the screen and I missed it because we were deep in conversation, I go, uh no, I love my wife. <laughs> Get out of here, you new Vegas hooker. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> I mean, hey. Anyway. Personal space meaning anything to you guy. I always like a good opportunity to make you laugh, babe. And it's genuine. Like, I see that line pop up, and I go, uh, no! <laughs> okay, anyway. Back to talking about... Right, so... Miss Myrtle. Miss Moaning Myrtle, you heinous, heinous lady. <laughs> if we had to sentence you for your crimes, and what are the crimes, babe, if I might ask? <laughs> for your horniness. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, creepy, I, creepy horniness. I, I was gonna go Welcome with actual back. legal terms, but that's almost better what you just said there. Um, yes, I, I was gonna be like, to quit like you have to remember, these are a lot of these are actually everybody there pretty much is minors, again. right? Yeah. Then again, it's like, who is she? Does that make it any same. better, babe? No, Very but still, she died as a minor, so she's a minor for the rest it's of her life. Well. Yes, but I... Yeah, no, that... That doesn't excuse that, babe. Hello. But it's, like, that's... Uh... Okay. 